Greetings to all, this is Charles from North Wales and for the March 2020 Pure Flight Group build the Zlin 1-4 double build uh, two kits, one from KP and the other one from Hobby Boss both in 172nd scale the Zlin Z42 is a single seat, two seat Czechoslovakian trainer manufactured by Morovan Otrovice, a developed version the Z142 is the most popular aircraft variant in the manufacturer's aircraft line. Development continued with the Zlin Z142 featuring a slightly enlarged two-seat uh, airframe based on that of the Z42 with a more powerful 150 kilowatt, 210 horsepower Walter now Lom M3. 3.7 fuel injected inverted six cylinder supercharged air cool engine uh, of the Z43 replacing the unsupercharged LOM M137 of the Z42. The prototype Z142 first flew in the 29th of December uh, 1978. In the, late, in the late 1980s, further development work was initiated. The inverted inline engine was replaced with a four-cylinder horizontally opposed Lycoming IO360 engine. This variant is designated Z242 and is immediately extinguished by the relatively wide cowling which houses the flat four engine. This is one of those aircraft that seems to be has been exported all over the place with numerous air forces and private users around the world using this type. I bought this kit at the Chester Model Centre in 2019. It was one of those nice little finds. I um, wasn't really sure what to expect, but I thought, oh, let's have a bit of fun with this. This is an odd kit with clear plastic wings and fuselage plus a basic grey sprue. Moulding quality is excellent with no flash. The decals are for the Czech Air Force uh, trainer version. Assembly is very simple, uh, but the parts uh, quality is, is excellent. Very nice cross mouldings. I think I got this, the KP kit at IPMS Telford last year. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure when I got it. There are four rather nice marking options, as I wanted to do two civilian aircraft. I chose the bottom one, the Hungarian and uh, Polish ones I'll be building. The KP kit is of reasonable quality with uh, fine panel lines and uh, no flash, pretty much what I've come to expect from this uh, kit manufacturer. I really like the decal sheet um, of the kit. General quality is um, pretty good with nice stripes and other lettering construction is pretty much to be expected i think this kit could have had some photo etch with it but i'm happy enough with it with what it is i first started on the hobby boss kit uh, by adding the nose weight which i made from squashed air gun pellets held in place with super glue and milliput this has become sort of my go-to approach for nose weights the fit of the Hobby Boss kit is pretty good with not much filler required. The basic cockpit had a throttle and seat belts uh, added. The seat belts made from painted masking tape. <coughs> I had to use a little bit of uh, watered down uh, Deluxe Products Perfect Putty, but not that much. I say it's generally a good fit there. I applied Tamiya uh, white on a grey base. Canopy fit was an issue towards the back of the canopy and I used Mr. Surfacer to fill the gap then sanded back and repainted a bit. The blue was Vallejo Model Air 71008 French blue sprayed on after masking. The black was Ravel Aquacolor hand painted. This was followed by a coat of Vallejo Polyurethane Gloss Varnish 27.650. I've gone over to this rather than um, the old varnishing approach. As planned, I used the decals from the KP kit. The main issue was with the wing stripes, which were too short and didn't conform well to the aileron ribbing. And this was a problem on both, on both builds. Um, that just proved a bit tricky. Even with... Um, 
with its decal softening agents it gave issues the aerials were made uh, from uh, brush bristles and I used a bit of Flory Pro Modeler black wash. Everything was then sealed with another coat of Vallejo gloss varnish after the cleanup. The K-pit, KP kit began with the nose weights, again done by the same method as before, squashing the uh, air gun pallets and securing them in place. The fit in general is not great. I added a pin's bar to help locate the wings as they have no positive location. It's just a butt joint and the seat belt, belt decals were awful, sort of coming apart to form like jagged edged belts. Not good at all. For its small size, this model does need a lot of filler and rework. Um, it's very fit sensitive model no positive location on it and so I had to do quite a lot particularly with the wing joints even with the pin spar added I used Vallejo model air for the red and uh, hand painted the uh, blue with Ravel 361.52 aqua color then sealed it up with Vallejo gloss varnish again uh, decals were as expected uh, from the sheet uh, giving problems on the uh, trailing edges so there you have the pair of them finished. In both cases, as I said, I used brush bristles for the whip aerials, which worked quite well. And I put in pins in both the wing tips uh, as uh, the uh, aircraft uh, lights. Seems to be a reasonable effect. And you can see that at the wing tip. Maybe I should have painted them as well. That's, you can see that the Hungarian markings that I used for the um, Hobby Boss kit. And in the Polish markings is the KP kit. The stripes on that worked out quite well on the fuselage and I'm really quite happy with that scheme. So I think overall of the two, I actually think the, the Hobby Boss kit is the easier build and it gets the wing uh, and hydro correct in this case. The KP kit is a lot more work, a lot fiddlier, few more quite a lot more challenges to build but worth the effort I think you still get a nice aircraft out of it um, and I was reasonably happy with the output I would say though the canopy fit is appalling uh, particularly on where it joins the forward uh, fuselage uh, just in front of the engine cowling the canopy does not sit right there I think to sand it back you risk uh, messing up the fit in other areas You're just left with a pretty horrible step the fit of the canopy on the um, Hobby Boss model is much better and I think just generally speaking I think it's the better of the two to be honest even though the cockpit detail is a bit ropey but you can dress that up and there you have the pair of them together I was happy to do this double build it's nice to see two slightly similar but still contrasting schemes like that it's nicer to have the two aircraft now in the collection so this marks the end of my uh, pure flight group build subjects thoroughly enjoyed it seven aircraft built for this would recommend both kits thank you for watching happy modeling and particularly at this tricky time guys take care god bless this is chancellor north wales signing out